and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be answering the questions you guys asked me for my Q&A. So I'm going to start with the YouTube questions and then I'm going to go over to the Instagram questions. So let's just get right into it. So the first one is, what is your dream purse? Chanel, Chloe, or Louis Vuitton? Um, it'd probably be Louis Vuitton. Um, I'd probably never get it though just because those are like really expensive. They're like thousands of thousands of dollars and I just could not see myself purchasing a purse for over a thousand dollars. So I'd probably never get it but a Louis Vuitton. Um, your most embarrassing moment of your life. Well this actually happened just a couple days ago. So we go to get drug tested for um, you know for school. Um, cause like our, my school, our school, like my college drug test us at randomly. So yeah, that, that, there's that. Um, and so, uh, we go to get drug tested and, um, I can't pee. Like I, I can't pee enough. I like go to the bathroom and I pee and she's like, oh, that's not enough. You need a little bit more, but you have to do it in one setting. So she pours out my pee and then she's like, drink a whole bunch of water. And so I drink a whole bunch of water and she has me go, um, six times and, um, it just, it wasn't enough every single time. And so like the last like three times she like take, took those and like combined them and then it ended up being enough. Um, even though she wasn't supposed to do that. Um, and so she combined them and, um, but before all that, I threw up in front of all my classmates because I drank so much water. Um, yeah, I threw up in front of my teacher, um, threw up in front of my other teacher, uh, and threw up in front of another classmate who hadn't saw the previous throw up. Um, it was all water though, throw up, but still, it, it's gross. Um, and then I walked in on one of my classmates of the male gender going to the bathroom, you know, doing his drug test, um, cause I was in such a rush to get to the toilet because I was throwing up. And so I walked in on him and hit him with the back of the, like hit his back with the stall door. So that was really embarrassing. And like the ladies in there with you whenever you go to the bathroom and since I drank so much water, um, I got instant diarrhea. So yeah, she heard all that. She was part of that. So it was a really good time. I was there um, over an hour after my class ended because they won't let you leave until you actually pee or you're like out, you're kicked out. Um, so yeah, that's how that went. But I finally did it. Woo. But yeah, that. My current most most embarrassing moment. Throwing up in front of all your classmates. A real icebreaker. Really is. Yeah, it was bad. And I'm pretty sure, like I'm 99, 100% sure that everyone thinks I'm a druggie now. But, whatever. I'm not. I don't do drugs. But I'm pretty sure everyone thinks I do. So yeah, that, that would be my most embarrassing moment. Um, the reason you joined YouTube slash what's your favorite product? Um, the reason why I joined YouTube was because, um, I would just, okay, so I went through some health problems and so I had to take a break from school and I had to quit my job because it was just too much and so I just, it was just too hard for me to go to school and stuff whenever I was sick, um, and so I just, I wasn't doing anything, I wasn't going to school and I wasn't working, um, and like I'm the type of person that like I just I don't know it just made me feel so so bad because like it just make like whenever you're not doing anything like that it just makes you feel so bad about yourself you're like okay everybody around me all of my friends and my classmates and stuff they are going to college and working and you know bettering their lives and I'm sitting on the couch because of my health issues but like you're not even thinking oh it's because I have health issues why I'm sitting on the couch no you're just thinking oh I'm sitting on the couch stuffing my face full of potato chips is what you're thinking um and so I was like okay I need to do something to get my mind off the fact that I'm just binge watching Netflix every day um so I decided that I was going to start making a YouTube channel um I was really really into watching YouTube videos and so it was just kind of like a I was like, oh, okay, let's make my own channel and like, let's make my own videos and that is something that I can do to take up my time and that will make me feel better about myself. And so it really, really did, you guys. Um, so that that's really like the leading point. It like, made me feel better about myself. It like gave me more confidence 
Um, and it just kind of like helped me relieve anxiety too because I really, really like filming and I also really like editing videos. And so that's really like the main reason was because um, I didn't have anything to do and I was just so bored all the time and I just, I needed something to occupy my time to make myself feel better about myself and so that's kind of how it ended up working. And so what is your favorite product ever? I'm assuming she means makeup product. Um, my favorite makeup product ever? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about ever, but right now, I would say my current makeup, like, my current makeup product right now, my favorite, I'm not saying the right, my favorite current makeup product would have to be the Tartlet and Bloom palette. Um, I've been loving this recently, like, hardcore loving it. Um, I actually haven't stopped using it since I got it, and that was like a couple months ago. I use it every single day. Um, I like use, I think I've talked about this before, I use Funny Girl, Jet Setter, and then Activist every single day. That is like my everyday eyeshadow. Um, this is probably like my current favorite makeup product right now. And I really, really love it, and I highly recommend checking it out. So yeah. If you weren't talking about makeup product and you were just talking about favorite product in general, um, Mr. Piv is really high up there. Like, super high up there. But cake would probably be my favorite, like, product and, like, food. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Hi, I'm from the Caribbean. Have you ever been to the Caribbean? If not, which Caribbean country would you like to visit? I've never been to the Caribbean. I've actually never been out of the United States. Um, and I've only been like, I live in Illinois, that's where I'm from, like in the like southern-ish region. Um, that's where like I'm originally from and um, that's where I've actually always lived. So I'm not sure why I say I'm originally from because that's where I've always lived. Um, and I've only really been to like the surrounding areas of Illinois and then like Florida and then like South and like North Carolina. Uh, I haven't really been like ventured very far out places. Um, oh, and I've been to like Key West, which that's still in the United States, but I've been to Key West. So, um, so now I have not been to the Caribbean and what Caribbean country would I like to visit? Sorry about that. My brother's annoying the crap out of me and he's like scratching at the bottom of my door making me think that it's my dog Tinsley because she does that because she wants in my room sometimes and so he's actually doing it and so he's being super annoying and yeah he's being super annoying but um anyway um what Caribbean country would I go to um I'd probably want to go to the Bahamas I think that that would be a really fun trip I think I'd really like to go to the Bahamas I think that's a Caribbean country right I'm gonna have to google it because I don't know let me see Caribbean okay which countries are in the Caribbean the Bahamas. Yep, the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos. Okay, yeah, the Bahamas is a Caribbean island. I needed to make sure, yeah, because I didn't do very good in geography. Like, I actually really, really did really, really bad in geography. But yeah, I'd like want to go to the Bahamas if I had the opportunity to go to the Caribbean. Okay, um, what's your favorite makeup from the drugstore? Um, like foundation or just favorite makeup product? I'll do both. Um, my favorite foundation from the drugstore is the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is my all-time favorite foundation from the drugstore. It is fantastic, and I highly, highly recommend it. It is one of those foundation. I went through, like, multiple bottles of this, by the way. It is one of those foundations that um, you, you cannot fill it on your skin whatsoever. Like, you can't even tell that you're wearing makeup by, like, the fill of it. It's awesome. I absolutely love it, and I've gotten, like, everybody into using it. And then my favorite product from the drugstore, I know I have it here, hold on, would have to be, this is something I wasn't even going to buy because it was like $9, and I'm like, oh my god, $9 for a highlighter, it's kind of expensive, um, it's not actually a highlighter, it is the Hard Candy Bronzer in the color Tiki, but I use it as a highlighter, and this is, this is it, it is absolutely gorgeous, this has like, has to be by far my favorite drugstore product, um, just because it is so, so beautiful and, like, I don't know, it just, it's amazing. And, like, it, like, really gives you, I don't really think you're going to get a very accurate swatch of this because I have, like, some other product on my hand. But it just, like, 
it gives you like that glow from within type of hot like type of highlight like you're just glowing from within you know what I'm saying you may not know what I'm saying but that is like my favorite um, drug like product from the drugstore because it's just so so beautiful and like it looks so natural on the skin and I wear it every single day I absolutely love it it's probably like my favorite highlighter drugstore or high-end it's like it's up there if it's not my favorite um, okay, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, my all-time favorite YouTuber would definitely have to be Jaclyn Hill. I absolutely love her. Like, love her. I love Jaclyn Hill. She is just my absolute favorite. I absolutely love her. Um, my next favorite would probably be Kathleen Lights. Um, I really, really like both of their personalities. Um, they just, like, seem, like, so down-to-earth and everything, and... I, it just, I don't know, I feel like it means a lot whenever they do videos about like anxiety and stuff because I do suffer with anxiety and I think it just kind of shows, like, it shows people like these like, you know, like famous, like pro really popular people experience it so it's like not something that you need to be ashamed of, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, Jaclyn Hill would be my all-time favorite and then Kathleen Lights is like really up there too. And then, um, who is your inspiration? My inspiration for YouTube would obviously be Jaclyn Hill and Kathleen Lights because they're my favorite. And then just like my inspiration in general in life would be my mom. I inspire to be like my mom every single day. She is the best person that I know. Like she's literally the best person that you will ever meet in your whole entire life. She is just, she's an angel that God put in my life because he knew that I needed her. She is just the best person in the entire world and she inspires me every single day. Same with my dad. My dad inspires me every single day. He works so, so hard to provide for our family. Huh? Mom too? Okay. All right. All right. Bye, Olivia. Okay. Those were my parents, was there. If you saw him, I don't think you saw my dad. But same with my dad. Um, like he works so so hard every single day to provide for us, and I probably don't say it much. Like I don't say it enough, but I like just thanks to my parents so so much because they are the best parents in the entire world, and I am so so blessed to have them. Like seriously, I'm so blessed to have them. They, God definitely know what He was doing whenever He made them be my parents. I'm serious, you guys. They are. They're just, they mean everything to me. Okay, the next question is, you know, I'm getting all a little, little sentimental there. Um, what is your most memorable experience in YouTube and in school? Um, I don't know what most memorable experience in high school would definitely be homecoming week. I don't know if this is something that, like, all of schools do, but um, we, like, this was probably, like, the most fun ever. Um, I don't know if all schools do this because like if you if your schools don't do that I'm sorry because they are freaking bomb and they're so so much fun um I'm hoping I can get through all these questions I may have to like break this up into Instagram and then just like just YouTube and then Instagram later at a later date um oh sorry um but my favorite school memory would definitely have to be homecoming week we would um I don't know if like I said I don't know if all schools do this but like I don't even know if all schools have homecoming. Homecoming is like a big dance that happens um, on either Friday or Saturday night. It just really depends. Um, and you have like your homecoming dance and then you have the homecoming game, which is like a football game. I know some people do it with basketball though. We always did it with football. And like the football game would be on Friday night and then the homecoming dance would be on Saturday night. And through the week, um, like every single day through that week, we would dress up as something. It would just kind of depend on like... The, a little bit on the theme of that homecoming dance. Let's say for example, like say Monday would be your class color day. Like freshmen, sophomore, se juniors and seniors, each class would have a color and so you would have to dress up in that color and everybody would dress up in that color. And then the next day, say would be like career day or something and you would dress up as like some type of career. Not so much the career you wanted to be, but like any career. The next one would be like, um, your favorite TV character and you could dress up as like a TV character and it was just so so much fun like getting costumes together and everything like that it was so so fun 
probably even more fun than an actual homecoming dance. Um, it was so, so much fun. Um, that's definitely my favorite memory. I know everyone puts like so much emphasis into prom, but honestly, prom was just not that big of a deal. Um, I definitely think the homecoming dances were more fun than prom just because we, I'm from a very small town and so, um, our proms are only juniors and seniors and so there just wasn't a whole lot of people that attended <laughs> and so we just it was like a very small dance and it just like wasn't really that fun but yeah so homecoming week was definitely like my favorite experiences from high school and then from YouTube um, I don't even know who my most probably the very first time like someone commented and I was like you're like so nice and you're like an inspiration and you inspire me and like I don't know it just meant so so much to me so that was probably like the most memorable ex experience thus far from YouTube okay um how long this person asked a couple of questions how long have you and your fiance been together um we have been together for um it was six years June 17th um so yeah six years June 17th um, and then we just got engaged in December. Um, and then, okay, when do you plan on getting married and how many children do you want? We are planning to get married in 2018. Um, we had planned on doing it next summer, summer 2017, but, um, we are not for sure if he's going to be moving back to Southern Illinois. Hopefully he can get a job in Southern Illinois, but we are not 100% sure if he's going to be able to find one. Um, like I said before, we live in a small town and so it's kind of hard for him to find a teaching job because, you know, there's obviously not, um, like a humongous amount of them. Um, and so, um, so yeah, so we decided to just push it back till the summer of 2018. He wants to do it in the summer. I want to do it in the fall. We still haven't decided on a day in 2018, but I want to do it in the fall and I'm probably going to win. So that is our plan and for children I would want I want at least two minimum um, and like TJ and I were on the same plan as that and then he was kind of like well maybe maybe it'd be nice only having one and I was like no we're not just gonna have one like they have to have a friend to play with we have to have at least two and he was like yeah but like it would like mean more to have one and I was like no we're having two um so the plan is at least two and then like our plan is okay so like if we have like the the first two are both boys then we're gonna try and have another one and hope for a girl and then if the first two are girls then we're going to try and have another one and hope that that one is a boy because I would like to have a both a boy and a girl and so our maximum is three and then our minimum is two um and I mean, if something happens and we end up having more, I mean, that would be fine. I really don't want to go over four children because I think that that would be really hard to do. But, um, yeah, my minimum is two. And I would like to not have more than three, but I'd be okay if we ended up having. So, yeah, that is how many children we want. This video is going to be so long. Okay, what is your favorite foundation from the drugstore and high-end? Um, as I said, the Maybelline Fit Me um, foundation is my favorite from the drugstore, and I have like not really tried a whole lot of like high end foundations. And like some people may not even call this high end. I do just because it's thirty dollars. Um, I don't have the full size. I have the mini size, but the full size is thirty dollars. And this is the purely tinted BB cream. And I absolutely love this. I probably love this just a little bit more than the Maybelline Fit Me, but there's definitely a humongous price difference. This is $30 for the full size. The other one's like five for the exact same amount of product. But yeah, those are my two favorite foundations. Some people may not say that that's high end. I do just because it's 30 bucks. Um, the next one is, when did you start doing your makeup? Love you. Oh, thank you so much. I love you too. Um, when, I start, when did I start doing my makeup? Okay, my mom started teaching me to do makeup in 8th grade. Um, I wasn't good at it. When she did it, it looked really awesome. Um, but I just, I did not get the hang of it um, in like the beginning of 8th grade. And then like towards the end, I finally started like getting it. And I was like, okay, yeah, like I know how to do this now. Woo, yeah. And then so I like literally had the exact same look from my like end of eighth grade 
all the way to my senior year of high school. Like, nothing changed in, like, my makeup routine. I bought the exact same stuff through that whole entire period, and so, like, I literally just, like, stayed the same makeup-wise. And so that's really when I got into it was in eighth grade. I was into it before then, but, like, that's really when I, like, I hardcore got into it and, like, wore makeup every single day and, like, could not, like, go to school without makeup. Um, so that's when I got into it was eighth grade, and then that's just how it started. And then I just, like, um, I really wasn't... I wouldn't say I was, like, into makeup. I would wear makeup every single day, but, like, it wasn't something like, oh, my God, I need, like, now. Like, now I'm, like, I need it all. Like, I go on Ulta, and I'm, like, I need every single thing on this page. Um, so, yeah, I'm, like, really into it now. What is your favorite makeup brand? Um, my favorite high-end makeup brand would be Too Faced. I absolutely love, love, love Too Faced. And then my favorite um, drugstore brand would be Maybelline. I love Maybelline. What is your favorite Christian book? Um, okay, I obviously this isn't like the Christian book, but I do want to talk about it. I mean, obviously this is like the most Christian book you can get. It is a journaling Bible. I just recently bought this and have been using it and have been Bible journaling. So I plan on doing a video whenever I get more into it. Um, but basically what you do is you just journal. Like you, um, like you make things, like you like write in it. There's like um, little notes where you can write in it or you can um, like draw things like that. And I just, I really, really love this. Um, and so obviously this is the most, like, you know, Christian book you can get, the Bible. Um, but yeah, this is the Journal of the Bible, and I will be doing a video on it at some point. Um, I just want to, like, really get into it and, like, learn more about it before I talk about it. But um, I am a humongous fan of Joel Alstein. I know, like, some people don't really like that, but I really, really like Joel Alstein. So I like any um, any books that he's wrote, he has written is really really good. I love those. Um, I also really really like Joyce Meyer. Um, my mom and I both watch um, Joyce Meyer and Joel Alstein. Um, she Joyce Meyer does a really really good job of breaking down what the Bible says and like like in a way where you understand it, making it like really easily understood. And so that's what I really really like about it because. I mean, you know, there are some times whenever you're going through the Bible and you're just like, I have absolutely no idea what this means. And so she does a really good job of breaking it down, letting you know, like, what it means and how to understand it. Um, so I really like that. And so I really like anything by Joel Alstein or Joyce Meyer. Um, I know that the Joyce Meyer, the, um, the Bible with, like, her footnotes in it where she, like, writes, um, it's, like, kind of like a copy of her actual Bible where she's, like, written notes and stuff in it. Um, I've looked at it at Barnes Noble. I don't own it, but I think it's really, really cool. I'm thinking of getting it for my mom for um, Christmas because she is like a diehard Joyce Meyer fan. Um, and so I'm thinking of getting that for her because I've looked at it and it's like really, really cool. And I think that it would she would like really enjoy that because it has like all of like her notes and stuff in it. Um, but yeah, I like anything from both of them. I will leave some of my recommendations down in the description box. Um, if someone asked you not to wear any makeup on your skin for one week, what would you do? I would be okay with that. I typically don't wear makeup every single day. Um, typically, I probably wear it two to three times a week, if that. Um, it really just depends on what I'm doing. Uh, I notice like a huge difference in like the texture of my skin and stuff if I like let my skin breathe and like only wear makeup when I have to. So I try to limit my, how often I wear makeup. So I probably only wear at most three times a week, but usually probably only two times. Do you live? by Rin Lake like me. Yes, I do. I don't live that far from Rin Lake. I live pretty close to it, probably just a couple miles. Um, what is your favorite thing about makeup? Um, from my dear friend Melissa. Um, go check her channel out if you haven't already, Melissa Ann. Um, what's my favorite thing about makeup? I just love how, like, I don't know, I just love how you can create something so different all the time like how you can completely change the way you look if you want to i love that i love how you can just completely change everything if you want um if you were only able to wear one makeup product for the rest of your life what would it be mascara 150 percent mascara my lashes are my babies i absolutely love mascara it is 
thebomb.com. Um, so that's definitely what I would wear for the rest of my life. Um, what are your favorite types of videos to film and why? I love sitting down and like talking to you guys. Um, I just think that they are just so much easier to like, they're just like so much easier to film and edit. Like I just like, like sitting and talking and it just feels like so natural. Um, and I mean obviously I talk a lot. Um, and so like that's just something that like, it's something like, I like do a lot and so I think that it like it just feels very natural um, I typically you know I don't feel 150% confident in my makeup skills so I don't like I don't know I just feel like I'm not as confident in my, my makeup skills and stuff so I don't really like doing those videos as much just because I don't really know what I'm doing technically I just do what I do and then hope that like no one's like hey you're doing that wrong um, so yeah I just really like sitting down and like talking to you guys I think that those are like so much fun to film and like edit and stuff. I love doing that. Okay, who won the giveaway? It is posted. Um, I just posted a video talking about who won. And that is the last question. I will answer one more though. I get this a lot on like a lot of videos. And a lot of people are, <laughs> they ask me if I have a hickey on my breast. Um, this little scar right here. I'm just going to pull this down a little bit. This little scar right here. Um, Everybody asks me if it is a hickey or if it is a humongous pimple. It is neither. It is actually like a scar from where I had an implantable loop monitor put in my chest. It's just like a little tiny heart monitor that like monitors my, monitors my heart. So no, it is not a breast hickey or a boob <laughs> or, or a pimple is what I meant to say. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and answer that because I get a lot of questions asking that and it is not anything like that it is just a scar and I know it it looks disgusting and I get so many questions like in real life I get questions asking people about it like people are like hey you have a humongous pimple on your chest no that's a scar I like wish it looked differently because I don't like the way it looks it just looks gross so yeah that is what that is um this video is gonna be super super long and I apologize for that Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Um, I am going to do a separate video with the Instagram questions. So that will be up in a couple of days. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Oh, no, let me tell you this. Also, if you have any other questions that you guys want to ask or you like, didn't get a chance to ask a question, you can like go ahead and comment on this video if you want. So, yeah, thank you guys.